lawmakers reacting to a Call 7 investigation into serious errors made by Denver Human Services, calling for more county transparency. Call 7 investigator John Ferruja reports that could take the form of new legislation or state rule. It was very disheartening to hear that they did not have to report the errors that are made. State Senator Linda Newell, a Democrat, is vice chair of the Senate Committee on Health and Human Services. She's referring to statements by Colorado officials who confirm that counties are not required to report serious policy or case errors to the state human services department. It is up to the state to monitor the counties. But how can they monitor if they're not getting the reporting that they need to? Our reports uncovered the DHS has placed children with registered sex offenders and has failed to conduct proper background and fingerprint checks. What's worse, DHS manager Penny May denied such a problem. I am saying that the process is in place and it is working. But after her public denials and our stories to the contrary, the Colorado Department of Human Services began asking questions and she had to send a letter admitting more than 300 fingerprint checks had not been completed. If they can hide behind the, oh, we can't tell you that, they will. They need to have some standards that say if, if you do something wrong, you've got to report that. State Senator Kevin Lundberg, a Republican, also on the committee, says county human services agencies have been covering their mistakes for years, avoiding accountability. Far too often there's a, a culture of protection of the system rather than protection of the kids. Uh, I want to break that cycle. The biggest incentive that, that we should all have as adults is what are we going to do to save or to protect that child? Both Newell and Lundberg say they're now gathering information for a bipartisan effort to enact a new state statute or state rule that would guarantee county agencies report case and policy errors to the Colorado Department of Human Services. The goal, says Newell, is closing systemic loopholes to keep kids safe. In the newsroom, I'm Call 7 investigator John Ferruccia.